Amen, amen. How you doing today? I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to pay close attention to this word that I am about to read for you in Matthew 26, verse 31. Now, this is where Jesus predicts Peter's denial. Now, you're going to get something out of this word that's going to bless your soul. Trust me. It's going to serve you purpose in the future. You will never forget this word. Now, in this verse here, then said Jesus unto them, who? The disciples. All you shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. Verse 32 says, But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Now, this is Jesus before he died. He just predicted what will happen. Who else can predict something and make it happen? Only God can do that. So that tells you here that Jesus was God in the flesh, my friend. Anything that Jesus said, do it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Jesus here was predicting what would happen and he said that it was written. Once the word is written, you cannot change it. You cannot change God's mind because it's already written down. It's either you obey it or you will pay the price. You will suffer the consequences. Very important. Stop listening to what people are saying. Stop listening to your grandma or your grandpa. Stop having feelings and emotions. But you need to listen to God's words. Whatever that you are going through in your life right now. Whatever sin that you are in right now. Whatever weakness that you have in right now that is stopping you that is causing you not able not be able to serve god you need to let it go right now and let god take over your life right now do not abuse the grace of god the grace of god is only given to those people who are willing to repent from their sin then grace is available to them but if you are using the grace of god to think that you can live your life the way you want to in spite of what is written in the word of God, my friend. You are on your way to hell. You are on your path to destructions. Once it is written, you cannot change it. God is a loving God. But at the same time, he's a judge and he is just in his word. Now, when we're going to go down these verses... I'm going to show you how Peter was trying to go against what was written. Even though he meant well, but he still failed because he could not go against the word of God. Now, you have many people in our days who's trying to go against what is written. They're trying to be nice to people. They march on the street with their gay pride parades trying to change the word of god they have their own bible coming out they call it the queen's james version trying to change the word of god so that they can make the word of god align to their filthiness and their abominations you cannot bring the word of god to your level my friend you have to go up to the standard to the level of god it's either you do that or you will perish because God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Whatsoever he said shall come to pass. That's what the Bible says. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For whosoever believeth in him will not perish. Whosoever believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. But if you don't believe in him, believing in God does not mean that you live in sin and you think that you're still going to be saved. 
believing in God is not that you did a prayer five years ago or ten years ago and you right now you live in the life like the devil and you still think that you are saved no Jesus said those that believe in you will continue in my word is Jesus your role model are you mimicking Jesus are you following the footstep of Jesus are you living a holy life God did not give us a religion but he gave us a relationship with him Christianity was created by men but God Jesus called us to be what holy to be followers of him to be Christians the religion that mankind have created Baptist Pentecost Methodist all those religions were created by men God called all of us to be holy that's why he said be ye holy like your father in heaven is holy Jesus said deny yourself carry your cross and follow after me let's go back to Peter where Peter was trying to go against what was written to see what happened to him if you are trying to go against what was written the church in our days are going against a lot of stuff that was written Jesus said go he gave a commandment to go preach the gospel mostly I would say 90% of the churches that, that are in America, across the world, they do not go out to witness to anyone. All of them are doing a lot of nice programs and activities and mega fest and mega feasts just to bring more money to their churches. It becomes a business. They do not follow or obey the command of Jesus Christ. Rather, they're doing things that was written contrary to the word of god if you are going against what was written you are in your way to destruction my friend now let's go back to uh matthew 26 where in verse 33 peter inserted and said what though i should die Verse 30 to Peter and said, and say, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. Peter here is saying something that he does not know what he's talking about. He's going against the word of God, even though he sounded genuine that he really loved Christ. He would not let go of Christ. Although that he meant it in his heart, but you can't go against the word of God, my friend. Just like all those churches that are doing all these revivals, all those things, bringing all those dense activities in the church, they instead of using the church of God as a prayer, but they bring in new stuff to help God. Although those things look good and sound good, they're going against what was, what was written. Do you feel what I'm saying here, my friend? So Peter here is going against the word what was predicted. What did Jesus say in verse 34? Verily I said unto thee that this night before the cock crows, thou shalt deny me thrice. That's God speaking, my friend. If God said, not everyone that said, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but those that do the will of God. Do you think that you can just de do the opposite of what God said and you're still going to make it to heaven? You will not make it, my friend, because you're going against the word of God. If your church is operating not according to scriptures, you are going against the word of God, my friend. You will perish. I don't care if you call yourself a pastor or you have big titles. It doesn't matter who you are. You're going against the word of God. You will perish. Although that you have a Bible in your hand, you go to uh, church every Sunday, you're trying to do everything the way you should. But if you don't go according to scriptures, according to what was written, you go in against God's words. That's my word to you today, my friend. So Peter said it again. Though I should die. In verse 35 with thee yet will i not deny thee he was very sincere in his heart 
And he said, likewise also said all the disciples. Now all the disciples follow and say the same thing after him. You see what I'm saying? They did not know what they were saying. They sounded nice, but they were going against scripture, scriptures. You cannot go against scriptures. The world can do whatever they want, going against scriptures, going against God. The, the homosexuals are going against God. The lesbians are going against God. They say that people were born this way. The atheists are going against God. They say that the world was created by a big bang. Everybody can go against the word of God, but you do not go against the word of God, my friend, because you will lose at the end. The Bible says heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word will remain forever. Start obeying this word, my friend. Tell your pastors, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your husband, tell your spouse. Start obeying this word. Tell your kids. We better off obey what the Lord Jesus said. Instead of trying to change the word of God, you need to change. Dress like the word of God said to dress. Talk like the word of God said to talk. Visit the poor. Visit the sick. Feed the poor, feed the hungry, feed the thirsty, clothe the ones that are that are that, that don't have any clothes to wear. Let's start doing the work of God, my friend. Repent of your sin. If you don't repent, the Bible says you will perish. Many people think that they can live in sin and go to heaven. Jesus said, if you don't repent, you will perish. That's going against scriptures. I wanted to use this word to open up your eyes. Christianity is not because your family is Christian. That's what makes you a Christian. No. You need to work out your own salvation with trembling and fear. Isaiah 66 verse 1 and 2. God said, To this man would I look on. To. Which man? The one that is poor in spirit and one that is of a contrite spirit. One that is poor when one that is con of, a, of a contrite spirit. And one that trembled at his word. At his word. Do you tremble at right right now at the word that I that you are hearing right now take a time to examine yourself do some scrutinizing may God bless you spread this word subscribe